Hey everybody, today I'm going to make a chainsaw with ZBrush 2018.1. So I've just got a few objects in my scene and I'm trying to cut out a general shape for a chainsaw. So, um, right, where was I? Um, I've got the main body, now I'm trying to make like exhaust areas so the chainsaw can breathe when it needs to. So I've got live boolean turned on. Let's activate that. Move this over. And I'm going to use array mesh. Array mesh is nice because you can have uh, repeating objects um, evenly spaced out in different locations. Oh, wait. Yeah, repeating 12. Control Z. Yeah, that way. Probably a few times. Um, that should be good. Let's move this up. Um, I'm going to decrease the number to about 9. Good. And then let's... that. Okay, good. I like that. Perfect. Okay, then Control Shift D, and let's move this over. Okay, Subtool, Subtractive. Okay, then um, I'm going to Control Shift D. And move this over to the other side. Good. And I'm going to select this guy, Control Shift D, duplicate that one, and move it over. Okay, about the same. Let's move to the other side, and then, yeah, make sure it's like right. Okay, good. I like that. Now I'm going to subtract this, subtract the other one. Okay, now I've got that. Now I want a little bit more design on my chainsaw. Control Shift D. Let's copy this main body area, and I'm going to isolate the side. By holding down shift, move 45 degrees and shrink this some. Nice. Ooh, that looks awesome. I like that. I'm actually going to keep that. I'm going to select the other um, mesh that we had selected. Control shift D, duplicate that, move it up, and then subtract it. Move it to the bottom, control shift, click this arrow to move down or up. Holding control and shift moves it all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top. So now everything is being affected by it, including that uh, 45 degree box that we rotated. Box that we rotated 45 degrees. Okay. What is next? I like the rotated uh, box, so let's, right now it's uh, rotation on this 3D gizmo is uh, rotated, but if we hold down Alt and click the backspace button, oh, hello, thanks for watching, uh, we can reset it back to normal, and then, oh, Control-Z, Control-Shift-D to duplicate that, and then let's move that down. And some other subtools are subtracting it right now. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to hold down Control Shift and click this down arrow to move it to the very bottom. So nothing is affecting it. Okay, I'm going to move it up a little bit. Okay, I like that. No, I don't. Hold on. I'm going to move it up some more. Um, okay. 
I like that. Now I'm going to select this box that I have on top by holding down Alt. I clicked it, that flat surface, so it knows that I want that selected. Control Shift D. That duplicates that box and let's move that down and subtract this. Oh, I'm great. I'm, I'm doing really well actually. I I was playing Doom and I got all the way to the end. I beat the last guy and then I started to stop my broadcast but um, it didn't look like I was recording anything so that was kind of sad. Nice. Okay, I like that. Now I want some designs around the edges. Control Shift D I'm going to turn symmetry off real quick, move this out, uh, I'm going to move to the top, move this 45 degrees, yes, okay good. Now I'm going to move it this direction, and I want it to cut right there. Okay, I'm going to scale it up just so it cuts all the way through. Now I'm going to, just to make sure that uh, this is affecting everything, I'm going to hold down Control and Shift and move it to the bottom. Now I'm going to subtract it from everything and it cuts through everything. Now I like the way that looks, so Control Shift D, I've duplicated it. I want the same effect on the other side, so Doom online mode I do not have because I uh, I think it costs like 50 something dollars to pay for the um, uh, premium edition of uh, PlayStation 4 um, but I don't have that um, okay I've duplicated this now I want to go to deformation and I want to mirror this on the other axis multiple subdivision levels okay let's delete those so delete lower, then we'll go back to deformation and mirror, and it's going to mirror right on the other side. Now I can subtract this as well, and now we've got this awesome look on the other side. Sweet. Okay, now let's see, what else? Um, I'm going to select these cutouts. I think they're too deep. Um, I was going to do something soon. I was, I'm going to have them barely cutting in. Yeah, so I'm going to move them out just. Nice. Yeah, just like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh yeah, handle. I need a handle. <clears throat> I will make that next. You can't have a chainsaw without a handle. Nice. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to work on the handle. So I'm going to alt click this uh, main box area, control shift D, move it out. Okay, that's awesome. I love that. That's so cool. Going to shrink it a little bit. Whoa, oh, wrong direction. Or wrong area. Okay, now I like that, but control, wait, I'm going to select this. I'm going to turn off symmetry. Okay, it's on. <clears throat> it's off. Now I'm going to move to the top, reset the rotation, move this over. No, I didn't, it doesn't look like I copied it. Control shift D. Right. Now, let's subtract that and move that over. I want to cut out this area too. Now, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Control Shift D. Wait, I'm going to delete that. I want this to have <clears throat> I want this to have more of an effect on the shape of my chainsaw. So let's move it in more. Awesome. I like that. Control Shift D. Good. 
Now I want to go to deformation, mirror, yes. And then let's subtract that as well. Perfect. Now let's select this main um, box and let's, okay, ooh, that's nice. I like the way that looks too. Uh, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm going to move that over just a little bit. Mm, yeah, okay, that, that works. Then, Control shift d it is being added, so I'm going to move it to the bottom, just like that. I'm going to shrink it in this direction. Okay. Um, do I like that? Uh, I think I do. I'm going to select this box. Um, let's control F. No, 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 control N. Sorry, that clears the canvas. Let's draw that back on our scene. Edit mode. Okay. Now, shift F. Shift F. Um, shift F, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, no, I'm just going to leave that. Shift F, let's turn off uh, polyframe mode. Um, I'm going to, I guess, select this one. Move it. And that was the wrong one. Control Z. Select this guy, move him down, nice, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm going to shrink this and move this up, this, this is going to be, going to be part of my chainsaw, nice, control shift D, duplicate that again, move it up, now let's subtract, let's move this to the bottom, subtract it, good, and now I want to scale it in this direction, okay, and probably this direction, I don't want it to be eating up so much of my uh, chainsaw, good, nope, no rotation, control Z, okay, now, Okay, how does that look? Control Shift D. Let's subtract that and rotate this. Um, one eight uh, no. Come back to ninety. Positive ninety. Good. Now I'm going to shrink it in this direction. No, like that. Okay. Zoom in. Now, why am I getting that? Probably because this is... No, um, hold on. Um, I'm going to delete this and start over. Okay. Select this uh, subtracted box. Control Shift D. Good. Now I guess I will just move this out here. Subtract it again. Move it in. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I'm going to shrink it, control shift D, move it up, shrink this, uh, 
in multiple directions. This direction as well. Yeah, I think I want that. Now I'm going to move it in. Awesome. Okay, I like that. Control Shift D. Let's duplicate that and move it down. I've got a lot of polygons right now, so I should be careful. Um, I want this to be like that. Good. I'm going to say these are grip pads. Um, oh, control Z. Okay, let's see. If I was holding it, I'm going to need another one. Control D. Because he, he needs it. Those are grips. So, yeah, that's good. Now I'm going to control, wait, Alt select this box, Control Shift D. Let's, move, ah, nope, no rotation or scale in that direction. I want to scale in this direction. Now, um, let's see, let's scale that a little bit. Okay, this is a cutout. Let's move it to the bottom. Cut. Okay. It's it's probably too deep. Let's shrink it some. Okay. Right there. Control Shift D. And let's shrink this some more. Okay, there is the main. Uh, <clears throat> area for my chainsaw. Okay, um, now I need, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, real quick, I'm going to see how many polygons I've got right here. Um, no, I'm going to leave it. Okay, now let's make my chainsaw, the actual blade. So I'm going to select this last cut out control shift D shrink it I'm gonna move over here a little bit more it's not as exciting when you're working on a project way over here <laughs> okay now I'm gonna work on this and then you can't see anything um, so let's zoom up okay awesome now this will be smaller. Good. This direction as well. Okay, now this should be fairly easy. Quick save. I've got 10 million polygons. That's. could be bad. <clears throat> Saving project. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to scale this out. Okay, move it over here. Now, let's work on our chainsaw. <laughs> nice. Um, wait. Oh, yeah. I was wondering what this was. That is the actual blade. So let's move this this direction. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, chainsaw would be easier to operate if it had two positions you could hold. Um, let's see. I'm going to select this area. Control Shift D. Change it to a cylinder with no subdiv subdivisions. Let's go back down to 98. That's good. And uh, let's delete higher. 
quick save just in case now I want to switch it to um, yeah cylinder with a little bit more size and then rotate it 90 degrees and scale it in this direction let's shrink it some move it down it's, it's too thick great right on I'm gonna make it a little bigger just so you can hold on to it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quick save. Real quick. Now let's use the really powerful deformers or deformer slice. I want to still, still broadcasting. Awesome. I'm going to slice this right here but let's move out oh all my controls are right here let's make this a little thicker no no creasing okay let's make it inflate good and now let's apply symmetry Yes. Good. W to accept and then to go back to slice. Nope. Slice. Okay, then move it. W. Slice again. Wait. Hold on. Slice. Okay, awesome. That's a place to hold on. Sweet. Okay, now where was I? Yeah, I want to make sure that this is... I'm going to press W and move it all the way down. I want it to be connected. Even if I have to scale right here invert and then move down awesome here we go now i can continue quick save just because it's fun now i'm going to cut out the chainsaw and you can't see it right now but there are actually um, gears and stuff inside this chainsaw to make it move and spin around and things like that so let's alt click this uh, blade Control shift d to duplicate it and let's move it up some and then scale it in can I go to geometry and then let's let's bring this down quite a bit 98 okay so <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to use array mesh. Quick save, <laughs> just because it's fun. Okay, we are almost done. Okay, array mesh. Turn that on. Let's move this up to that nine. Might be too much, but who knows? Wrong direction. Let's move it in the Z in the other direction. Yeah, that's way too many. Uh, let's try four. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. And let's control shift D. 
move this down and move it right there. Awesome. We are almost done. Uh, control shift D. I'm going to turn off array mesh and move this where it needs to go. I'm going to rotate this 45 degree or uh, let's see. 45, reset the rotation, move it in some. Awesome. This is really turning out nice. Okay. Can tr uh, let's see. Quick save. Just just because I can. Now. This is pretty cool. Uh, okay. Control shift D. Let's see, does that look good right here? I actually like that, that's that's pretty nice. I love that, that looks really, really cool. Almost like I intentionally made it like that. Then control, wait, hold on, before I continue, I'm gonna select this array mesh, make mesh, select this one, do the same thing, and then right up close, we have this guy. Let's make this a mesh composed of multiple subdivision levels. So let's go down to about, oh, how does it look? Okay, let's go back all the way down to zero or the, the first subdivision, subdivision level. Let's delete higher and repeat this on everything else. Back down to one and then the other side. Awesome. Okay, uh, back down to one. Fleet higher. Um, what, what happened? Oh, I selected the wrong one. Okay, let's select this one. Move it back down to one. Delete higher, and then go back to array mesh. Make mesh. Click this one, make mesh. Rotate around, make sure I've got the other sides. Okay, this is selected. Make mesh. This side. Make mesh. Those were just array meshes that when I try and live Boolean, it will work easier if everything is just a mesh. Right on. Sweet. Okay. Now, what else? This is a mesh. This is a mesh. So now I just need to select this. I'm going to do this manually. Control Shift D, move it over right about there. Control Shift D. Awesome. We are making a chainsaw. Control Shift D. Uh, hypothetically, if I was making a game right now, I could use this as my chainsaw. And as you would approach, you know, a zombie, for example, it, you would interact with a zombie and it would it start to like move around and stuff and yeah uh, never mind hold on control shift d let's move this down right about there awesome let's select this one control shift d okay right about there i guess it doesn't have to be perfect uh then no i want that to be per perfect that Perfect. Let's move this where it needs to go. And same with this guy. I want it to look better. Okay, let's control shift D because now we're on our own own chainsaw making course. Nice. Control shift D. Let's move this over. And now um I want one more addition to this uh, chainsaw. Control Shift D. Let's select this. That is so wicked cool. This is my first real chainsaw that I've ever really tried to make. Okay, about that. And let's make this a little bigger. Good. 
shrink and let's see what that is looking like. This is a portfolio piece right here. Okay. I like it. Good. Okay, now let's quick save. And let's quick save again just to make sure that the first quick save worked. Just in case it didn't, we have another quick save to back up on. Saving project data. Okay, that was the first quick save. This is the second quick save, so now we'll be safe. And I can live Boolean this. I'm excited. Nice. Okay, let's frame twice. Cool, that is so awesome. Um, hold on, before we move on, I want this to be my um, document startup picture. So let's see, uh, I'm going to render this BPR. Wait, escape, hold on. Okay, I guess it doesn't like the escape. Uh, I wanted to render, um, wait, I don't want, um, hold on. Okay, render, render properties, shadows, I don't want shadows, oh well, yes I do, I just don't want a floor. That way it'll create the shadows on the gun, but it won't create, create shadows on the floor because there is no floor. That's good, that's what I wanted. Okay, now uh, render, best, let's make this look nice. Okay, awesome, thanks for watching. This is a chainsaw I just uh, created using live boolean. Pretty nice. Did, did it render? Because um, there are no shadows. And I want shadows, I just don't want shadows on the ground because it, it ruins the whole scene. It's a, a Christmas chainsaw. See, it's it got like Christmas ornaments on it and stuff. I don't know, this design right here looks Christmassy to me, but, oh man, okay, let's see, R uh, render, okay, I want shadows, but I'm not getting shadows, let's see, if I turn floor back on, rendering with GI shadows, okay, that, that's good, I like that. Is it rendered? I'm going to render again, just to make sure. Just being safe. Okay, whatever that I'm whatever that looks like, I'm going to live with. Um, okay, then let's go to render. BPR filters. Let's turn on the first filter, which is noise. And let's crank this up a little bit. Wait, yeah, more noise, more noise, and then let's mask this out. Let's see, somewhere in the middle. No, let's mask like that. Okay, good. Now the next one is blur. If we mask that out, that could look nice. Now I want some colors. Purple, red, or sorry. Red's in here somewhere. There it is. That's nice. Okay. Uh, let's mask out this one, this direction, then this direction, see what that does. This, I like that. That's cool. Now, render mask this way. No. Mask this way. Oh, I like that too. That's awesome. Okay, now let's do some colorize. Turn this on. Radius, whoa, too much, mask, no, I don't like that too much. Let's actually turn this filter off. Okay, let's turn this guy on, red. Yeah, okay. Mask, yes, I like it. And this fade. No, I don't need fade. Let's do glow. 
That was nice. Let's turn glow up. Radius. All the way. Good. And mask. Awesome. I like that. Now let's... It's missing something. Sharpen. That's what it's missing. Let's turn that up. Good. I almost don't even need a mask. Nope. Yeah, okay, I like that. Okay, here is my background document setup. So document, save as startup doc. So every time I load ZBrush, this is what everybody's going to see. Now, that's awesome. So what I wanted to do now, let's get rid of that. Let's use Z app link. Oh wait, hold on, I'm not done yet. Um, Control N, just to clear my background. Now I want to quick save again. Then we will live Boolean. And then Tessimate down to a reasonable size. Or maybe not, because I'm not really planning on taking this anywhere right now. Let's go to Subtool, Boolean, Make Boolean Mesh. Okay, let ZBrush think. It's thinking right now. Okay. Union remeshing in progress. This could be good. I'm excited. <clears throat> I was thinking of uh, making this one mesh and then Z app linking to Photoshop just to get some real basic textures on the whole object. It'll be fun. Nice. Okay, almost done. Sweet. 